Today's episode is just an overview and getting to the mining dimension. Welcome back, guys. Uh, this is episode 12 of Stoneblock. I've got a few things done. Uh, the main thing I was going to do in this episode is go to the mining dimension. Um, I finally got the materials for that, which required uh, just two, uh, I think it's, let's go over here and look at it. It's five times compressed uh, stone, I believe. I was thinking I needed a lot more than that, but no, it's not. It's quintuple compressed cobblestone, and that's that's five times compressed. So it takes quite a few to make them, and that's why I have this kind of a big setup right here just for compressing the stone. Okay, let's go back over here. I'm going to dig that out, and the smeltery... Uh, I got it started. It still needs a few more things, I think, uh, for me to get it set up. But this is a basic smeltery. Uh, there's a few more blocks on what the quest requires. Uh, like it only required one basin or one uh, crafting casting table. But I went ahead and made three because it makes it more even. These blocks, too, are, it only required one of these uh, drains. And I went ahead and made six total, uh, six faucets. In the minimum size, you have to have three by three. And again, I did the same thing over here with the drains and faucets, and then the casting basins here. Uh, and then you had to have uh, the seared tank, which holds the fuel, the lava, and then the controller, uh, which you right click on it, and that shows you the amount of fuel left, plus uh, whatever types of fuel you have, or whatever types of ores you have smelted in here. Uh, I started working on uh, some patterns. Uh, so what we would do is right-click and uh, drain the uh, the ores down onto these task, uh, casting tables, and then take out the uh, the different types of tool blades and stuff. And that will leave us a cast for uh, the different alloys and stuff that we want to cast tools out for Tinker's Construct. This is all part of it. Uh, these are decoration blocks here, the seared glass. Uh, I went ahead and just made enough to go to the ceiling because eventually we'll go ahead and uh, build this up to hold the, a maximum amount in this small area. But uh, for right now, that's all, all that's there. That gives you kind of an update on it. Um, another thing, we can look at some of the uh, quests that I've completed. Uh, this is the portal frame. These are just, uh, you have, uh, let me turn that the mob sound that I don't hear for it real quick. I like to have it on just so I know where they're at, but uh, making a video doesn't really make sense. Okay, so we go back in here. Uh, again, I just had to make some chiseled stones and then use the multi-tool to uh, finish this uh, quest. And it actually used quite a bit of the, uh, the mining multi-tool just for those uh, 10 blocks, so it's kind of crazy. Uh, I'm not going to claim that yet, but just show you some of the different things. Uh, with smeltery, we got done. Uh, the cobblestone generator, we're all the way down to uh, tier 5. And we went to the, to, uh, the Roma Mining Dimension, is what we're going to do today. And then the end stone, we've got through uh, loot bags. Uh, weather skulls, same thing. Power generation, nothing new there. Uh, I haven't started mis mystical. Agriculture, we will do that pretty soon. Uh, storage. Uh, I finally got the keys. Um, uh, the claim for it, the loot chest. For some reason, it wasn't detecting the drawer, but I've got a few more since then. Um, and I guess we've got to make each of these upgrades, too. Which I've had these, so I don't understand why. Maybe it just wasn't... Uh, Unlocked when I made the upgrade, so that's why it didn't show up. Draconic Evolution, I haven't done anything with. Um, and Project E, of course, I haven't done anything with it. Um, I did start working on uh, this other quest. Let's see. The Nether quest. That's done, actually. The skulls. Oh, the, the, actually, the end. But the, doing this end rod is actually quite complicated. 
got everything else done. Uh, normally, that's not too hard. You just have a blaze rod and uh, uh, some purple block, and, and you're good to go for an end rod. But in here, it's a little more complicated. And it's my pack anyway. So you have to make these two ender uh, tethers. Or you can get these in, uh, I think, loot bags too. But uh, they weren't too bad since I had the uh, uh, the wither skulls to make the dust. So that wasn't too bad. Uh, another quartz I've gotten. Uh, this lavender. <laughs> if, I ate, if I had a lilac flower for different in a different biome, uh, I might be you know, in a good shape, but right now I can't make uh, pink unless I can use the red flowers and white dye. Maybe we'll look at that when we get done. But that's all I'm, I'm lacking right now is is to make these two leather, uh, lavender quartz to, to finish that quest at the end. And then this is to make an artificial end portal, which is not, it's not hard to do. But this is a pro tip, crafted in cake instead. We'll have to check that out. <laughs> okay. Those are just made with gas here, so. Oh, but another star too. I don't have another star. So. Um, we'll end up going ahead and probably just make an end portal once I get enough frames. I don't think I have enough end frames right now either, and those are just gotten from loot bags also. Six, yeah, I still need, uh, I think 12, so I'm halfway there. All right, let's, let's go back over here to where I was going to start out with. Um, And we'll just dig this out. Uh, so you get have ten, so two, two on the bottom and uh, three on the sides. So okay, let me go grab some food, and let's see what weapons we got. Let's go ahead and grab the sword here too. And put some of those down in our hot bar. I'm not going to be doing a whole lot. I don't think we're just going to get it started so we can see what's what's going on basically there. Because I haven't been there yet. And do you use this tool to light it? Yes. Okay. This makes a kind of a, a cool aqua green uh, portal that you don't get to see anything in the vanilla. So that's cool. Let's go check it out. And I think you got to hold shift down to, to go into the portal. Still got a bit of a cold guy, so I'm not able to kick it for some reason normally I I don't get a cold or if I do it I get over it pretty fast and it does seem to take a little while to load uh, the dimensions of course the only dimension we've had so far is just the overworld or the stone world that we come into and it took a little bit to, to load originally and now it's not responding Okay, there we go. I've been playing the pack for a few hours now, so I probably should have uh, logged out and logged back in. I kind of cleared it up. Okay, we got an overworld. So, ooh, uh, oh, cool, this is a meteor crater. All right, we finally got light. And there's a village over there. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to find our lavender flowers. Let's turn off F7 so we're not 
seeing that right now. What is this? A chance cube? <laughs> I kind of try to stay away from those things. They're, we might be able to do some here actually now since we have an overworld. Um, make sure we don't lose our portal location. Actually, let's go back over. And I may uh, just cut this out, but I'm going to go back over here and make a waypoint. Uh, we have the journey map. That's what's at the top right. And so you can mark waypoints. It does the same thing when you die. Uh, as you've seen earlier on, I had a bunch of deaths on the death episode and the, the one after that. But all we do is we push J. Go in here and then uh, option. Well, that's the option, so we don't need to get into that. Uh, close. And if I can remember how we did waypoints. Okay, we click on it. New. And we'll just call it uh, spawn and mining dimension. Okay, save it, close, and now uh, we can see that on our map. And if you need to, you can also go back in and press J again. We get your waypoints, and it shows you. We can uh, we can teleport. Okay, that's pretty cool. I didn't know we could teleport back to it, so that would be really handy. So if we go exploring a little bit, we can find an easy way to get back. Just, it's kind of weird to see these open craters. I guess it's, I mean, vanilla mining area has these different craters too, or different uh, holes showing up in the world. So I want to get over here to this. It's got a, uh, a portal of some kind. And if you guys have played this or played more modded, you may know more what this is than I do. Okay. No stairs to get up there. So it's in a chest. Inventory upgrade. Okay. So it's giving us some stuff. Um, I'm not going to grab that out right now. And I don't want to break the blocks just in case it's uh, some kind of portal. We have to have environmental accumulator from Evil Craft. Okay. I'm not really sure what that is either, guys. I didn't bring any bone mill to bone mill the, the ground to see if we can get that to lilacs. But let's go ahead and see if we can do that teleport. So it's J waypoint teleport. Okay, yeah. Let's go back in our portal. Push shift to go back. Okay. Um, let me see if there's anything else. I think we've seen the, this room basically. I've expanded it like I said for the smeltery. Um, I want to get into uh, uh, energy pretty soon, so uh, some kind of power, and that way maybe we can do the ore doubling with the pulverizers or crushers. I'll have to look and see what we want. And then, uh, you know, we get the storage finally done, and uh, we're basically running out of room with it. So we'll probably look to starting refined storage uh, uh, fairly soon, too. Mom Farm's doing okay. Uh, like I said, I've just been using a loot bag opener. I've been really converting everything over to uh, the <clears throat> legendary loot bags. Uh, um, okay. <laughs> All of my animals have disappeared. They're still here. So I probably just need to log off and log back in. But Because uh, you can hear them. And there's an Enderman over there that uh, it's not viewable either. But his, uh, his uh, name tag above him is. So. Uh, I think it probably, I need to uh, just log out and uh, maybe let the, load pack, the mod pack load back up. But anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. We'll have a kind of a short episode. And uh, I may do some mining in the mining uh, dimension uh, to see what else, what kind of ores we can get. And then uh, I'll probably do an episode opening up uh, a lot of these uh, quest loot bags we've got quite a few now most of them are over here I believe so and we'll need to get that nether star so we'll need to go to the nether pretty soon um, 
Actually, I just uh, beat the weather, so all we got to do for the nether star. And that requires soul sand. I have one piece of soul sand, but I'll, I'll probably fight it in the nether. I'll see if I can find an area, and that's usually the place I fight it. But anyway, guys, uh, I'll see you back on the next episode. Thanks for watching.